What does a small business do with funding from the federal government? If the company is Advanced Ceramics Research Incorporated, they do a lot. The company, also known as ACR, has successfully transferred technologies they've developed through government funding to both federal and private sectors. From NASA and the Department of Defense to the biomedical field and international business, this small company in Tucson, Arizona, has a knack for finding new homes for its technologies. Technologies that the firm has developed through the Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program. Regardless of the economic climate, ACR is always thinking of new markets for those technologies. It's a little bit of a juggling act. You have to be somewhat dynamic and, and roll with the punches. We constantly think of applications because sometimes one application that you think of can, can never happen. ACR was founded in 1989 by Mark Angier and Anthony Mulligan. What began with only $1,000 in startup funds has since become a world-class company that focuses on developing state-of-the-art, high-temperature, high-strength ceramic materials and processes. In the late 1990s, ACR received an SBIR award from NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center to develop a rapid prototyping technology for producing new composite materials. Materials that would enable a new generation of low-cost propulsion components for NASA and the Department of Defense. That same research then led to the development of a very unique experimental process in the biomedical field. Enter Plastibone. By combining computer modeling and revolutionary materials, ACR has developed an innovative technology that may one day be used to create artificial bone grafts. Through an SBIR funding from the NASA Langley Research Center, the firm is now developing new technologies for radiation shielding applications. Yet another example of ACR spinning out a new application from the research originally begun with Marshall. Recently, the company entered the field of unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, through an SBIR award from the Office of Naval Research, ACR has teamed with another firm to develop and deploy the Silver Fox, a small tactical UAV that uses high-tech eyes-in-the-sky camera technology to gather intelligence information and then simultaneously relay the images to a remote laptop on the ground. Besides the federal government, ACR pursues commercial applications for their research. Licensing their technologies to other industries has been an important mechanism for the company. What they'll be able to do with the technology, we would struggle to do ourselves. It, it would take us a much longer to commercialize and to really uh, do the product development that they're capable of. And they, of course, have the, the marketing clout that a small business like ACR doesn't. The company signed a 10-year, multi-million dollar license agreement, allowing a U.S. company to use one of their technologies to improve the efficiency of oil and rock drilling. And one of their technologies has been licensed to Kyocera in Japan, the global leader in ceramics for communications applications. ACR extends its partnerships to the academic community as well. From the beginning, the firm has collaborated with colleges and universities, believing that academic partnerships are critical to its research and development success. In addition to working with the faculty, ACR regularly employs university interns on staff. It's a great relationship because we've been able to uh, look at uh, you know, prospective employees that, and, and sort of test drive them. Uh, before hiring them and, and uh, we've all, it also gives us a very close connection with the university and doing some of the technology transfer. With product demands on the increase, ACR recently formed a joint venture, Advanced Ceramics Manufacturing or ACM. Through a cooperative arrangement, the owners of ACR are building a new facility on the nearby Tohono O'odham Reservation. We proposed a partnership where we would try and establish a manufacturing arm of, of ACR on a reservation and train people on the reservation to do technical jobs there. Angier believes federal funding is responsible for the technical superiority his company has today. But it's more than that. 
ACR knows how to put its government funding to work by constantly searching for those new applications and opportunities. We are not doing this just for research sake. We are doing this because we see a commercial potential, a big commercial potential out there. And we work very hard to commercialize that technology.